Collaboration has been established between the School of Engineering and the School of Medicine at West Virginia University to capitalize on the emerging field of nanoparticle aerosol technology. On a scale, they are one one billionth of a meter. So to put that into perspective, if you could imagine uh, this ball would represent one nanometer, you, you could compare that to the diameter of the Earth at one meter. An aerosol is basically a suspension of these particles within a gas. So say you have particles um, on the nanoscale and you would suspend these into the air. That would create a, a cloud essentially and that would be an aerosol. Researchers in the Nurkowitz Toxicology Research Lab at WVU have been working on the development of a nanoparticle aerosol generator for research, biomedical, and industrial applications. Here we have one of the prototypes of the nanoparticle aerosol generator. This device will take a compound in the form of a dry powder and generate nanoparticle aerosols. There was an immediate need for the production of nanoparticle aerosols in the toxicology research setting as well as other research areas. Toxicology research is used to identify safe nanomaterials for use in diverse human applications as well as safe limits of exposure in the workplace. The purpose of this work is to develop new novel methods of nanoparticle aerosolization and to create new ways to disperse nanoparticles. This technology is important because it has many applications. Today we use it in toxicology research, but we have applications in industry, industrial processes, as well as biomedical applications. This device was developed in the Nurkowitz Toxicology Research Lab at WVU and has been used successfully for an inhalation toxicology research for over three years. We have been able to use modern methods of prototyping uh, design and testing and simulation to bring this, this technology closer uh, to commercialization. We are currently working on mathematical models um, to predict and improve this technology. This technology has been patented and further patentable technologies are being developed that have been derived from this work. This work opens the doors to not only pharmaceutical processes and biomedical applications, but industrial processes in the manufacturing of electronic and energy devices. The future of this technology seems to be limitless. New methods of creating composite pharmaceuticals, thin film coatings, and new methods of drug delivery can all be derived from this technology. What does the future hold for this technology? Will this help bring the next generation of computing, fuel cell technology, new optical coatings, or new methods to fight cancer? We will have to wait and find out.